that should not to be a but uh, Tim Zoo should retire. Um, you know, Rick Larson was online saying, oh, man, he shot, he's retired. How the fuck you know? Are you a doctor? Are you a physician? See, it's, people got opinions, you know, like that. But, you know, what if, you know, Lennox Lewis retired after Oliver McCall and Hasim Rahman knocked him out? What if they all, oh, Lennox is shot and he's, he should retire. He should never fight again. You know, people said Mildred Taylor should never fight again after Chavez. He still became world champion. You know, there's been plenty of people get got knocked out and they still, you know, Thomas Hearns got knocked out and came back won the title. You know, Durant knocked out, came back, I believe won the title. It comes with the game. And like Nate Campbell said, told me a long time ago, he said, you hang around boxing long enough, you're going to get knocked out. It's going to happen to you. You know, sparring in a real fight, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, bucko. You know? So, yeah, who are we to say he need to retire? You never know. He could have had an off night. You got to understand how long he trained from what, eight, now six to maybe 12 weeks. Maybe someone's off with his nutrition. Maybe his, you know, his physical you know, peakness and peak too quick. You know, people have off training camps. All fighters do. Some fighters just find a way to win. But saying he should retire is pretty yeah, he got knocked out. Yeah, he was overconfident. Yeah, he didn't believe fire was hot when it came to background Mazzali had. Yeah, he fucked around and found out. But I would say it's, it's premature to say he should retire. Amir Khan got knocked out and came back a bunch of times. <laughs> you know, Miguel Cotto came back after that, uh, that, that situation with Antonio Margarito. It happens. You'd be surprised the guys who got knocked out in the gym. That's not spoke on. Or, you know, that, that that's kept in the gym. Should they retire too? And that's one thing about social media that's dangerous. People got an opinion who don't really even know. We, we don't even know what's going on inside their camp. And yeah, he didn't know the hell he had. That shit happens. The same thing with people who say, cool, well, Tua should retire. Tua is his own man. I love how people, you know, is concerned about athletes' health. You know what I'm saying? But they really not concerned about athletes' health, if that make any sense. They're really not concerned about it. They not. But I think he put enough, I mean, we'll see what he like when he come back. You know, people screaming bad matchmaking. Well, we know why he lost to Fondor. The cut. Now it's, oh, man, you know, he should have stopped the fight and, you know, and, and took the decision. Now had he stopped the fight took the decision, what would y'all have been saying about him? Y'all have been saying the opposite. It's damn if you do, damn if you don't. That's why you got to make your own decisions as your own man. And you got to live with him. Don't worry about what the people going to say because they always going to choose the other side. You chose to continue to fight and be a warrior. Oh, he should have quit. He, you would have stopped the fight and said, I can't see and would have got a no contest. Well, he a quitter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It literally don't fucking matter. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Don't forget it. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. So, like I said before, yeah, it, the knockout looked bad. And it always do look bad. Knockouts don't necessarily look good. But he can bounce back from this. He can bounce back from this. You know, he won't be the first, he ain't the first fighter, and he ain't the first fighter to get knocked out. Real talk. 
He ain't. He is not. He is not. So, yeah, tell him the fighter that he need to, he need to retire. And he need to, you know, walk away. Man, that's, re that's fan rhetoric. Been great. Plenty of fighters that got knocked out that went on to be great world champions. To be all-time greats like Lennox Lewis. You know, it come it comes with the territory. It com it comes with the territory. It literally comes with the territory, and that's that's pretty much what I find pretty funny about people unboxing these uh, Twitter experts, these ex experts, these social media experts. That's what I find it funny. Oh, he should retire. He's shot. You know, you don't know what he is. Anybody that get knocked out after knockout going to be like, damn. And I always thought interviewing a dude after he got knocked out was kind of foul. I've said that for years. And if he say something wild, you really can't hold it to him because he don't know where the hell he at. <laughs> people should wait till the next morning or give him a couple days to speak on. I know people want to hear his opinion. You know what you got hit with this, that, and the third? And, and like, dude, if I say some wild shit, you can't really hold it against me. I was speaking on this on the live on Sunday. Remember when um, Juan my Lopez got knocked out? He got knocked out by uh. He got knocked out by uh, Salido. I think it was in the second fight. I could be wrong. And the ref stopped it. And um, the ref stopped the fight. And he started fighting the ref <laughs> in Puerto Rico. You can't get stopped by no Mexican in Puerto, in Puerto Rico, though. And he started fighting the ref. And they can start tripping and shit, bro. He started tripping. So, yeah, you don't. That's, you know, that's emotions. That's, you know, physical abuse that been put on you and all of that. So I definitely understand. But, yeah, I ain't going to say the dude is finished or he done. Nah. Not, 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 after, not after one performance. Sorry. Now, if he come back, he look like a shell of himself. He can't take a punch or his leg's gone. Or every time he get punched, he start crumbling. I'm pretty sure his father going to put a plug on his career. His father knowing to put a plug. His father's been stopped before and came back. So it's something that he can walk him through. But I just think he really over underestimated this guy. And he said his last performance versus Cole Cloud to get the title, he was doing Ramadan. So he wasn't as strong as that. You know, this fight, was, you'll see a different Mazaliev. And boy, did you see a different Mazaliev. Strong, strong as ever. Strong as ever. So, you know, but, um, but yeah, you know, I ain't saying that man need to retire, man. That, that's, that's, that's hilarious to me. That's hilarious. I think that's hilarious, you know, but everybody got that pen. Everybody get knocked out. I mean, he should retire. It's over with, and he should never fight again. And, you know, people with a platform on the Internet is crazy. Most of them never even got into a fight. Do a punch. And a lot of them appear not to be historians, neither. A lot of them appear not to be historians. But a lot of great fighters got knocked out and was able to come back and put it all together. That's the story of boxing. That's what it's about. It's about really, you know, if you lose, come back and get, and get it. You know, come back and get it. Let's do it again. 
But like I continue to say about about the sport, you got a bunch of people who got a microphone who don't know nothing about boxing for real. And they got the loudest microphone. And that's dictating how people moving. You know, they against certain fights, so promoters don't make it. You know, they saying certain fighters don't deserve this and don't deserve that. And he need to retire. You don't think these fighters hear that shit now and play a little bit on their mental? Hopefully it motivate them. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Follow me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music. Check out the Patreon. Won't be disappointed. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.